it's good to have Mrs Henderson Presents is a brand new British musical um, all about the Windmill Theatre which was the only theatre during the war not to close. Um, Laura Henderson, uh, a wealthy widow, took over the theatre in the 1930s and when it wasn't surviving decided that the best way forward would be to have nude girls on stage which was a first um, and this is her story. Because it's a true story, it's really appealing. You don't often get to play people who really existed. And Maureen is uh, kind of an amalgamation of all the different windmill girls, I think, who worked there. And we've met quite a few of them. So it's, um, it's pretty special in that respect. Maureen is um, a shy, awkward wallflower of a girl. She's discovered by Mrs. Henderson. She first starts working um, as her Girl Friday, I suppose, become, going from the tea girl to you know, sort of an office assistant things. And it's only by sheer coincidence and chance that one day they realise that she's going to be their head windmill girl, their head nude, um, which is a massive step for her. She's not a girl who dreams of being on the stage. She's not that, that person. She doesn't want the limelight. And it, it brings her out of her shell. It gives her confidence and it, it makes her grow. And, Utterly fantastic, phenomenal and fierce. Tracy's one of the people that I've worked with the most in my career um, and that's, that's really lovely. We've, we've already got a relationship and every show we do together, I mean we first did TV together and, and then we did Sex Chips Rock and Roll at Manchester playing mother and daughter. Um, and every show that we do we have different sort of boundaries and parameters and I think that it's interesting we get to explore new relationships every time and that's, that's really thrilling because you, you learn from the people you work with and there's no one finer for an actress to get to work with and learn from than Tracy Bennett. We first did the nudity on day three of rehearsals which is crazy <laughs> and in, in some respects was actually easier than when we started to do it again because by that point you knew everyone and that's almost weirder getting your clothes off in front of a load of people you know as opposed to people that you don't know. Um, I won't lie, it's, it's difficult, it's very difficult and I think what it did teach me is the fact that nobody is happy with their body. Nobody looks in the mirror every day and goes, I love my body and we should. We grow up in a society that is constantly telling us to dress a certain way or, or do certain things to adjust our bodies. We airbrush pictures. We try and manipulate the view of what a body should be and is. And it gives you a false sense of insecurity in your own body. What this show has done for me is given me confidence back. And it's sort of surprising to me. I mean, I, you know, everyone's got their body issues, but. It's incredible to stand there and be able to stand in your own skin and go, this is who I am, this is what I've got. And I'd urge everybody to do it. It's scary, but stand in front of your own mirror, take your clothes off and look at yourself and go, this is me, I love myself. I love the bumps, I love the extra bits, I love the bits where I wish there was a bit more or a bit less. Love who you are. And it will open up your world, it really will. <laughs>